Hi friends, welcome to Wednesdays with Whitney. The very first Wednesdays with Whitney of 2020. I think this is the first year that I haven't had to think about what, uh, when I changed the, the number because it feels so natural, it feels so normal. And I was so ready for it. So here we are in 2020. I'm actually recording from my office today. So slight change of location. Um, and then as we go through 2020, I'm sure I'll be on location a ton, but I thought we'd be kind of comfy today. So what I'm gonna do is a little 2019 year in review because as a business owner, and I'm sure a lot of you out here can relate to this, there's no one to do a review for me. Like I get to do that for myself, which is really exciting because I think one of the things that happens when we own a business is that we just keep moving forward. And something I struggle with is celebrating my wins, celebrating my successes, and truly celebrating them. And I tend to set super high goals, and then when I don't make them, when I don't meet that exact goal, I don't pause to celebrate even what I did accomplish. So today's really a big inventory for me for both of my businesses, for what I created with my business partner, and for what I created with all of you, because so many of you who have been watching this, um, who show up regularly on the platforms that I show up on, are part of all of these amazing things. So just gonna share, um, the first thing on the list is very timely. Um, so last year I was awarded 40 under 40, which was super exciting. Um, and right now nominations are open. I'm writing letters for a lot of people and putting a nomination together. And what I love about this award platform is it's really taking a look at the people who are contributing to our community. And as we all know, that is at the top of my list of things to talk about, think about, promote. And when I was thinking about the people who I want to see on that stage, I was really thinking about people who are champions for local business because I want to see more of that. I want to see our local businesses step up and say, yes, I might be a team of one, I might be a team of two, but I can make a huge impact. And um, so those are the people that I was really looking forward to nominating and looking forward to lifting up. So excited to be a witness to those nominations and those um, award recipients, I believe it's in March. And I was super excited to have been on that stage last year. It was an incredible honor and um, anything that Connie Weimar puts together, I'm in. So, so that was number one. Um, number two, I photographed over 100 people for $100 headshots. Um, and that's not even my total number. That's not even close to my total number of shoots. That was, that was a crazy number. Um, but my $100 headshots are my twice yearly now um, fundraiser for local nonprofits. And I'm currently in the process of interviewing local nonprofits to see where I'm gonna contribute this year. I really wanted to get to know some new nonprofits and get to know some new ways that I can contribute. But twice a year I do $100 headshots. They're 15 minute sessions and um, part of the proceeds goes to a nonprofit. And then I do a lot of brand awareness around that and in general just become a partner for that nonprofit to talk about how they contribute to our community. So it was really, really cool. 100 of you participated in that. Ah, just insanity. When I think about starting this, I started $100 Headshots, ah, I think three years ago, and I, I'm fairly certain I had less than 10 people do it the first time around. So it's interesting to watch how that's grown. I looked back at last year's, I did 36 last year. So $3,600 headshots in 2018, and then I did 100 in 2019. So super cool. Um, numbers are not usually a huge driver for me, but when I take a moment to look at them, they do show impact. So um, I do try to pay attention occasionally. Um, your personal brand launch. So <laughs> we're gonna shift businesses really quick. So Brand Launch really hit its stride in 2019. Emily Steele and I put our heart and soul into really drilling down on what we were providing, who we wanted to impact, and at the end of the day, we wanna help people grow their personal brands, and we wanna help people at the local level create real authentic impact. And to do that, it means showing up as who you are in front of people, getting involved, talking about it. So. 
We created an online course that actually went live today. So we have 38 people going through the very first iteration of your personal brand launch. And that online course is 12 weeks. It's like in progress. We have a beautiful group of people really diving into how they can show up in a positive, impactful way online. And oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Like we've been, the Facebook group that's supporting this group has been open for a couple weeks now. And the interactions happening in there are already so heart lifting and uh, just making changes and the way people are presenting themselves online and in person. So that launched and we are super excited to continue offering this course throughout the year. So if you did not make it to the first round, we will of course be offering this again. And we are just looking forward to expanding every single way we can support people in creating powerful personal brands. So super exciting on that front. Um, the next thing that I did is number four, for those of you who are counting, um, I signed up for a really intense leadership program. So I know if you've been watching Wednesdays with Whitney regularly, you have seen this. I was out in San Diego four times over the past uh, six months. And the leadership program was called Heartcore Leadership. And this is all on a blog, by the way, so you guys can read through this stuff. But the leadership program was called Heartcore. And I signed up during a time where I needed a change. And I got a call from a really, a really respected client of mine. And she said, Whitney, this is where you need to be. And to be quite honest, I didn't ask a lot of questions. Um, I respect Kathleen, Kathleen Reeson, hey babe. Um, I respect Kathleen greatly. I respect her attitude in life. I respect what she's created. And when she said, this is where I needed to go, I said, okay. So I showed up at this leadership training and really it is, it was the core, leadership at your core. So showing it committed, responsible, vulnerable, open. How was I supporting myself so that I could support others? And it was exactly what I needed. So it was four months of really, really, I don't know what that beep was. Someone's calling me. <laughs> um, it was four months of really, really deep work. One moment. Too many devices and I'm back. Um, so it was four months of really, really deep work, really getting involved with who I was, who I wanted to be, how I wanted to show up in the world. And it has just elevated how I think about those things and how I treat other people and how I treat myself. So really cool process. Um, anybody who wants to talk about that process or possibly engage in that, please reach out to me. It was certainly the most life-changing decision I made in 2019 if not this entire past decade. So pretty big stuff. Um, next thing, going back to brand launch and the hummingbirds, Emily and I you know, started the DSM hummingbirds about a year and a half ago now, last July. Yes, um, and it started as a concept. So if you haven't heard of the hummingbirds, hummingbirds are a group of community builders. Right now they're just here in Des Moines, but hopefully they'll be everywhere someday. And hummingbirds show up on behalf of businesses and give them a little buzz, give them a little momentum. It's really that word of mouth culture that really helps small businesses thrive. So we started this concept because we were already doing that for businesses. We knew a lot of our friends were doing it for businesses they knew and loved. And that concept has evolved into a technology. So a lot of you are already involved in that. And thank you for those of you who are early adopters who have helped us grow this idea. Um, but what's really exciting is that we took it from just an idea to an actual platform. And in 2020, we are super excited for this to be a really robust website that we can serve a lot more clients on and bring in a lot more birds. So that is growing. That is our, our most rapid growth process right now. So you can look forward to a lot of hummingbird updates in 2020. It's going to be pretty incredible. Um, next, um, in terms of growth, so both the Ivory House and Brand Launch teams grew a lot this year. So Ivory House started out as just me and Brand Launch started out as just me and Emily. And this year we added Amanda, Amanda Arnold. Hi, I think you're watching. We added Amanda Arnold to both of those teams to manage our inboxes because 
Um, if you know anything about Emily and I, we are out and about all the time. And if I'm not shooting, I am meeting with people. And so that leaves very little time for email. So if you, um, if you notice a different signature at the end of our emails, it's because Amanda is taking care of us and you so that we can continue doing a lot of community impact. So that was really amazing. So Amanda's official title is operations manager, which we love and is so fitting for her. And then Brand Launch also grew. Uh, Miss Callie, I think you might be out there too. Miss Callie joined us as an intern this summer and proved herself to be, oh my gosh, just an incredible worker and totally gets our mission. And it was so incredible to have her on board and to get to keep her as she went back to college. So she's been an amazing integrator for the Brand Launch business. And then Matt Niblock, who's a friend of mine since college, is on the brand launch team really helping the hummingbirds take it to the next level with technology and we are so grateful to his contribution so teams are growing expanding it's really really cool to bring like-minded people on board so that we can all create something really big together so you'll see a lot more oh and i forgot because she's been with me forever but megan of course is part of my ivory house team and she has been and she will continue to be and we're pretty much joined at the hip because she comes and works in my house every day so we hang out a lot so she's actually downstairs working right now so making all of us beautiful um so that was incredible all around um the next thing that happened which was really unexpected and really cool was that i had my very first uh fine art show in des moines and this work i got to show my work at liz Lidget's gallery in the east village which was such an honor liz does an incredible job of featuring female artists and over 50 percent of the artists that she carries in her gallery are female so i think that that's an incredible goal we when i think about we aspire to what we see when we see art created by women on the walls then other people know that they get to create that art so um, my work got to be displayed there with a lot of other people from around the country, which was such an incredible honor. And it was so much fun. I got to give a gallery talk. And, you know, I talk a lot, but I rarely talk about my own personal work. And so it was really cool to be able to dive back into some stuff I did just for me and to share that with the Des Moines community and have such open arms for that. So um, you can check those photos out on the blog as well. Um, and then last but not least, I got a jumpstart on my public speaking career. <laughs> so um, 2019 was the, the year of getting on stages. And it's crazy for me to think that that wasn't normal. Um, but this year it became normal that I would be standing and speaking in front of people. But 20, you know, in 2018, I spoke once. And in 2019, I didn't count, it was so many. And I love that, I love the energy of that, I love the participation of that, I love the collaboration. I love showing up and learning from you guys and hearing your questions and trying to drill down on so many of the things that I'm passionate about and wanna share. So I am super excited about what 2020 holds for me and that capacity. Where can I go? What stage can I stand on? What do I get to talk about? Um, so if you guys know of any opportunities that you think I might be a good fit for based on all the stuff I just shared, uh, let me know. I'd love to hear them. Um, I find it so thrilling and exciting to be a part of the community in that capacity. So I did promise that I would share some things that are coming up. I think the biggest thing that you can expect to see from me in 2020 is, oh gosh, I didn't think through this all the way. <laughs> um, I, there's just going to be some really incredible things coming out of the Brand Launch and Hummingbird Forum. Emily and I are working around the clock at our big dreams, and we cannot wait to see both our, our approach to personal branding, our community-based approach to personal branding, and then our community-based approach to marketing and branding just take over. Um, and I think the beautiful thing is that Des Moines models this so well. And Des Moines has really been such a foundation for how we think about what good looks like in the world. So we cannot wait to take that to the next level, take that to other cities, 
and um, we'll keep you guys in the loop on that process because we're gonna need a lot of good positive vibes and lots of people saying yes in order to make all of these dreams a reality. So big things happening there. Um, a big goal that I have is to speak more. So I just spoke a little bit about that. Um, and when I think about speaking more, the topic that I haven't been speaking on that I do want to speak more on is the unapologetically extra topic. So being bold in who you are, showing up and being worthy and being seen. Um, so I'm going to be pouring a lot more into the idea of unapologetically extra. And so you can look forward to seeing some more of that come in your way. And I've been slowly transitioning um, and using that term more, not just as photography, but as an ideology. And we will get to see lots of fun things coming there. But those are the highlights for 2019. That's certainly not all of it. Um, but it was, you know, just some really, really amazing moments for me. And you all were really big in, in these things. None of these things, I'm looking at these lists, none of these things happened without your contribution. Um, without you saying yes, or without you adding an idea, or without you speaking up, or without you just being present to be part of this. So um, I think the biggest thing is that your energy is what keeps me going, it's what keeps my teams going, it's what keeps us all creating and innovating. So thank you so much for being with me in 2019, and I'm super excited for what 2020 is going to bring. Bye guys!